Okay, we just covered lights. Now we're going to talk about um, some basics of Arnold materials. So normally we'd go to our Hypershade, and we've been adding in Lamberts. <clears throat> but this time, since we're going to use Arnold, on the left I want to go to Arnold and then Shader, and I want AI Standard Surface. So this is kind of like a Lambert for Arnold. It's a little shinier. And when you pull that on, I'm going to drop one in right here. <clears throat> so in my Hypershade, normally this is set to hardware. If your computer can handle it, you can change this to Arnold, and it's going to give you a better representation of what's going on. So it's actually rendering this little teapot right now. So I can go to presets. So I'm on my AI standard surface. And then they have some presets. So I could pick gold and click replace. Ah, sweet. So let's see what that looks like in my scene. It'll look a little different because this is using an image map. And we just have a white background. But as you can see, that's pretty cool. I'm going to save that one. Um, let's try rubber. <clears throat> so notice the properties of this material are changing. It's no longer uh, shiny like gold, polished gold would be, but it's a matte finish just like a rubber ball might be. <clears throat> so the light is emitting from this sky dome down onto the surface and when we have the gold setting, it hits this and bounces back towards the camera, and we can see these reflections. But this is more of a matte finish, so the light just kind of absorbs into it. Just like in real life. And let's try wax. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, you can kind of see some reflections over here, just barely. That's great. So let's say, oh, I didn't want to do that. Give me that. I'm going to turn this to hardware again. And I'm just going to drop in a brand new Arnold AI standard surface. Maybe. Come on. Why is this not grabbing? AI standard surface. And here we have <clears throat> all the sliders that we can play with. Alright, so I've got the weight. <clears throat> and my color. Let's pick like a cool green. And then I have the diffuse roughness. I'm going to turn this back on to Arnold so we can really see what's happening. Um, the metalness. So if I want it to be more metal, metal-like material, we can do that. Or I can turn that down. This is our specularity. So these are the highlights. Like here and here, the light that bounces off of it. <clears throat> if I were to turn this off, it's now a matte material, <clears throat> and now it's super shiny. I can pick the color of this specularity. So now all my highlights are a different color. Um, this is the roughness, so more of a matte material. It's actually kind of cool. This is my refraction index. So for example, turn transmission on and let me let me drop in a brand new one to show you transmission so now it's see-through so maybe I want plastic that is see-through and less refractive. So remember refraction is like if you've got a fish tank and you stick your arm down into the fish tank 
when you're looking through the glass in the water, it looks like your arm is shifted than where it really is. So it's the bending of the light. So notice this background texture is really distorted, and if I turn this down, let's do one, it's not distorted at all. So there are dozens of different settings that you can play with within the standard surface of Arnold. <clears throat> and don't forget about the presets. Oh, since we're here, let's put this on my sphere and see what it looks like. Almost gone. Okay, cool.